Welcome back. Uh, we don't have a lab uh, at the end of this unit right here, so let's uh, let's take a minute and, and wrap up, kind of summarize what we've learned, right? So we've been playing around a lot this unit with adapters, right? And specifically uh, base adapters and array adapters. Uh, and you know, any adapter is going to replicate uh, layouts um, for a specific data source, right? So what we have done so far is we've played around with with a bunch of views, right? So so individual text views. Uh, linear layouts for a row view, um, you know, some built-in ones, some ones that, that, that we designed, all these things. So we, we've played around a lot here. Um, as far as the data source, um, we've, you know, we, we've certainly gotten plenty of practice working with arrays and with array lists, okay? So, f so for our data here between our, uh, the different apps that we've made. And for the views, we've basically just, just played around with, with list views, right, of, of one type or another. Right, but this this uh, idea here of doing the replication of, of Android having the construct to do this uh, is actually more extensible even than, than we've um, than we've seen. Right, it's we've done every pretty much everything we're we're going to do here, but we're certainly not done with with this as a whole. Right, so what other kind of sources of data could you have? Right, uh, could you actually tie this guy into a database? Yes, that's coming up. Um, you know, could you could you use different views? Um, I'm going to kind of leave that up to you if you want to do that, uh, if, if it's applicable for your project. So, what directions could you go? All right. So let's let's go ahead here. Uh, many places you could go if you wanted to study study further. Uh, so you remember where we started off our unit here? You know, talking about some different adapter views. Um, so if you want to explore those those other uh, should say adapter views, um, then you know there's there's plenty of place to do that, and there's some wonderful tutorials uh, that you know on the developer site that are that are great for this, right? So um, for grid view, for spinner, and the text one is actually where you find the the autocomplete, right? Uh, so so lots of good stuff there. I'd encourage you if you have time to to work through those, particularly if you're you're thinking about using them for your project. Uh, you know what else could we do? Could we tie uh, could we tie the work with adapters? back with some of our previous work, right? So can we, you know, pull it in with, with stuff with fragments and menus and dialogues? And, and absolutely, in fact, we're gonna be doing that on our next exam, right? So you're gonna wanna review and, and put all these things together. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, you know, could you, uh, could you tie it in with a database? And that's actually gonna be a, a future unit is that we're actually gonna use a, a, a simple cursor adapter uh, and we're gonna tie it in uh, directly with the results of a, of a query from a SQLite database, right? So, so that is coming up. Uh, so, lot, lots of good stuff. Um, you know, you probably noticed I only had six, six state birds there, uh, in you know, in that last lesson. Uh, there's no way I was going to type in all 50 of them. Um, you know, but if we have a database, uh, that would be worth it, right? So. Hope you enjoyed this this unit. Uh, I did lots of good stuff here. Um, lots of good directions to go. Uh, Hang in there. You, you're you're through a lot of the material, a lot of the foundations. Uh, very soon, you'll be able to, to start diving off and and uh, and play around with with exploring things that you're going to need for any project that you're working on. Right. So enjoy.